Hello Geminis, this is your midnight reading. It's going to take us through to the end of June. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I feel like everything is it's kind of chill right now for some reason. I don't feel much that is um, bothering you. But let's see. What's currently going on around my Gemini's. It's currently going on around Gemini. The hanging man. That's that energy. Nothing much going on. Feeling like you've done everything that you possibly could do in a situation. And just kind of letting it play out the way that you feel like um, it's supposed to. This is taking your hands off of the wheel. Letting go of control here with the hanging man. This Piscean energy there. What's challenging or crossing Gemini's? The strength. Hmm. This Leo energy. Two majors here. There's a there's some energy that's exterior to you that you have absolutely no control over. Um, it is trying to get you to do something here. Whether it's to let go fully of control issues or for you to be strong enough to actually take the first step in something here, I feel, with the strength crossing the hanging man, okay? This is being strong enough to fight some urge that may not be, or some action that may not be that beneficial for you, okay? What is the underlying issue or foundation for Gemini's reading? What is the foundation for Gemini's reading? The Six of Pentacles. Mm. This is feeling like um, you're not getting what you deserve. You're not getting a return on your actions. Okay, Somebody's not reciprocating what you feel like they should be or how they should be here. This Taurus energy. You want an equal exchange of time, energy, um, heart space. Okay. What's going on in the recent past for Gemini's? The Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel Aries, Leo, um, individual for some of you is here. But um, this is somebody that is very attractive. Uh, this person does not make a lot of first moves, okay? People generally look to them or come to them. And um, I feel like you guys were very attracted to this person. You were very drawn to this person sexually um, as well as emotionally, I feel. There's definitely somebody here for you. Any thoughts for Gemini? Three of Wands. This is waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for something that you feel like, you know, you deserve in your life to happen for you. This is also Aries energy. There is somebody I feel like you're definitely trying not to lend your energy to, but it is an effort, I feel, that you're trying not to lend your energy to this person because this person is used to people coming to them. They're used to people taking the first step, okay? But you want that equal exchange of energy. Yeah, you may have come to them several times before, but, you know, why can't you approach me? And, and that's what I'm getting here. It's like, come to me. I've shown you so many times before that I want you by coming to you. Now it's time for them to come to me. <clears throat> What's coming in for Gemini's? Nine of Cups. Nines are single energy. But this is all about you having your wishes fulfilled. You being happy. You doing things that make you happy. Some of you may, you know, decide that, okay, this person's not coming in fast enough. So I'm just going to go and do me. This is you doing you. Whether it's going out, dating, um, having drinks with friends, or whatever this means for you. But this is about making yourself happy there. That's also Piscean energy. Okay? How 
is Gemini viewing their situation? As a Six of Wands here, Leo. Um, this is you feeling like you're doing the right thing. Okay? You're balanced. Your energy is balanced. Um, you feel like you've done enough in this situation, to be quite honest with you. And I think that's, that's where that calmness is coming in. Because I think you've extended yourself so many times that at this point you feel like it's time for this person to step up to the plate. And you're good with that. If they don't ever come towards you, I feel like you will start dating again. You will be able to move on. And I feel like you are moving on, actually. Okay? You're open to dating, doing new things, having new experiences. You're open to it right now. But there is somebody I feel in your past that you are still very much in love with. Okay? What is the influence here for Gemini's? Ten of Swords. That's your card. You're showing up now. I feel that there's way too much hurt here. There's way too much um, the history with this person. There's so many things that have brought you to this state right now. So many things that you feel like they've done that I feel like you want them to be accountable for. There's so many things in this Ten of Swords. And I think you're just at the point where you're not willing to sacrifice yourself anymore here. This is you not being willing to sacrifice yourself anymore. Even if you love this person to death, it's time for them to come to you. You feel like the best thing you can do in this situation is to take your hands off of it and let them act. And if they don't, guess what? You're prepared to move forward here. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Gemini. Ace of Cups. I feel that your hope for a lot of you is that this person still loves you deep down inside. Even though you're prepared to move on. You're hoping that it's still enough love there. Because I'm hearing that you guys felt like this was your person. This is your person. If they act right. If they show you that they can, can basically um, hold their own. Give you what you give them. Reciprocate your energy. Basically, the Ace of Cups is very strong here. Some of you question whether or not this person still cares for you. I don't know how long it's been since you've talked to this person or been with this person, but um, I definitely see that some of you are wondering if the love is still there. And then the chariot flipped out there. This is all about a relationship. Being successful in your relationship. Being able to move forward. This is with or without them though. But I definitely get that some of you guys just want a successful relationship. And I see that you will have that. You will have that. Whether it's with your past person or somebody in the future remains to be seen. But there is a successful story here for you guys here. Okay. So that is what I have for you. And this is Cancer Energy. Um, we have Cancer, Leo, Aries. Leo, Aries is very strong. So I definitely feel like there's a fire sign for a lot of you. Pisces is here. Um, and Taurus Energy is here as well. Alright guys, so that is what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.